there's no question that specificity of training is very important. And that means swimming at as close to your racing stroke and racing speed as possible so that you can condition your nervous system to operate at that level. So we feel like it's very important that athletes operate at speed pretty much every day at something. Now usually twice a week we're going to be doing a set where they're going to put the whole stroke together and try to swim some certain number of repeats at racing speed. Whether it's a series of hundreds to work on the second half of their 200 or it might be sprints off the block to work on their opening speed or maybe at the end of practice some sprints where they're trying to, to work on finishing speed. We think that that specificity is critical to their overall development as an athlete. The other parts of speed that we use is we do a lot of measurements in kicking. Every one of my athletes know what their best kick times are for a 25, a 50, a 100, a 500, whatever we're trying to do. So we're working to try to increase their speed in the components of training as well as the whole stroke together. And I think it's very, very important and it's something that really every swimmer can use as a database to measure the effectiveness of their training. What we tell our athletes is that confidence comes from demonstrated ability. So it's very important for us to develop that speed, the stroke, the tempo, and everything that goes along with it in the practice pool.